Hey everybody, I wanted to make a real quick video. I couldn't get out and um, and finish everything. I started cutting down those trees and stuff because we had um, over three inches of rain in 24 hours, so some pretty nasty flooding and stuff. But um, I did want to tell you guys about this before I get it all moved because there was a lot more down here, but I've been moving these slowly as I've had time when they weren't frozen and uh, and I was able to do so. But um, free wood chips for your garden, for whatever you may have a use for around the homestead. Um, an awesome resource, uh, used for so many things, and if you're able to get them for free, that just makes it that much better. Um, this is the time of year around here in my area where, um, actually we're, we're, we're a little bit late, but they're still around quite a bit. But the guys are trimming all the branches off of the power lines and stuff like that because the snow load and the ice, they get heavy and they break and they take out power lines. So this is the time of year to get that stuff, um, at least around here. So basically what I, I, I've got, uh, <laughs> without getting too in depth, I've got a little bit of knowledge about how tree companies work for various reasons. Um, but when they make these contracts with local townships, municipalities, cities, stuff like that, uh, they factor in dumping obviously as part of their price um so they'll set up with a local place where they can dump their chip trucks because um you know a decent crew out there working all day is probably going to end up with two to three loads of chips um depending on the area that they're going to need to go and dump so these guys are typically driving uh in, in my case for example the place they've contracted the dump is about 15 to 20 minutes from my house so when they're trimming trees right outside you know near my house um, it's much easier for them to come down the road to my place and dump these than it is for them to drive 15 to 20 minutes to a place, uh, you know, open the truck up, dump, and then get back here. Uh, and, and that time can be better off used. They, they get paid for it regardless, right? So they can either end their day a little bit early by dumping here, or they can take a break, sit around, uh, you know, eat lunch, whatever they want to do with that extra time. So my point is... It benefits them a lot of the time as much as it benefits you for them to give you these. So as long as you are pleasant and somewhat friendly and, and ask in a respectful manner, meaning if you see a guy up in a bucket on a power line cutting a limb, don't interrupt him. Uh, <laughs> if there's a guy in the ground directing traffic uh, and there's cars lined up, don't bother him. Wait till there's a, a break. Um, to where you can you can easily walk up and talk to these guys or uh, what really goes a long way um show up with a cup of coffee for these guys or uh you know a couple egg mcmuffins from mcdonald's or something it, it's it's not it's not very expensive but the gesture goes a long way and and these guys really appreciate that kind of thing and and almost always they're going to be willing to to do this for you with the exception of some companies that don't allow them going on to private property but it's really easy to do i stopped and talked to these guys explain things they're more than willing to give me whatever i want as far as these chips go they've got plenty um and they have no use for them obviously but um I, I made a quick sign, stuck it up at the front so they knew where they could dump. Um, another thing that's important, if you've got some areas of your lawn, like if they're going to dump right here, if I've got a wet spot, those big chip trucks are really, really heavy, especially this time of year when the ground's a little soft. It's easy to get them stuck, and it's not easy to get them out. So make sure you tell them about any kind of hazards, anything like that. Make it as easy for them as possible, and they're going to be more than willing to give this stuff to you. So... Just a quick tip on how to get some free wood chips for your homestead. Um, thanks to everybody who watched the last video and left comments and, uh, and, and rated the video and stuff. You guys know that's super important, uh, not with YouTube, for everybody to comment and, and like the video and stuff like that, sharing. Um, that little bell down there, click that bell next to my name if you haven't yet. That's that's also very important. The way YouTube is now, it's, it's tough to get people seeing your videos, so... Thanks to all you guys who are always doing that. I definitely appreciate it. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll hopefully have another one up for you again tomorrow. I took some footage of the uh, of all the flooding and stuff that happened with all this rain. So I'll get that up for you, too. Thanks for watching.